Oh, wait, what are caterpillars afraid of? Dog and pillars. On Brady's Bug Show today, I'm going to show you all the caterpillars I found in Florida. Come hunt with me. These are all the caterpillars I found in my own backyard. Some are home friendly, some are poisonous, but all beautiful. If I know one thing about caterpillars, trust me, I at least know two things. The first thing that I know is that all, not all caterpillars turn to butterflies. Some turn to moths, too. Okay, and all the ones that I'm going to show you are going to turn to moths after they can believe their metamorphosis. Whew, now that we got that legal Jordan out of the way, let me introduce you to the friendliest caterpillar that a guy could know. I named this one Bear Snake. He's my new best friend, almost like Millie. I know what you're thinking, but no, his nickname is not Snuffleupagus. Square Snake here is a Tursa Sphinx caterpillar. They get their name Sphinx from how they rear up just like this. And also, even though they look like they have a little stinger on their butt, that's just a little horn. They are not harmful creatures. <laughs> oh, Square Snake. Can you believe it? The next day I woke up and I found Square Snake in his pupa stage. It made a smooth wall cell. You can see that its eye is at the very front part and the wings are that brown part and the rest is all just his body. And the black circles along his body are spherecals for breathing. And isn't this the coolest cocoon you've ever seen? Guess who just finished his metamorphosis? I would like to introduce you to Square Snake 2.0. So, his wings are vibrating, so he's getting ready to take off. And here's a little slow motion sequence for ya. Here's Square Snake 2.0, vibrating its wings, getting its engines ready. <laughs> this is tower control, runway 27 left, it's clear for takeoff. Over. It was really cool to watch Square Snake go through his whole entire metamorphosis process. It sure did turn into a stunning creature, didn't it? <laughs> they just grow up so fast. The next beautiful caterpillar I found in Florida is the Southern Tusted Caterpillar. I'm gonna name it Pipe Cleaner. It has long hairy antennas, black and white lashes on each side of its body, and its butt has black hairs reaching out. The hairs on these caterpillars can cause an itchy rash. The prickly hairs are a defense mechanism. They are not poisonous or venomous. Hmm, I wish they were venomous though, because maybe this wouldn't have happened. When I was done studying pipe cleaner, I was going to go and release him, and I noticed he was wrapped in silk. Sorry to say this, but I think Pipe Cleaner is another victim of parasitic wasps. I'm not exactly a 100% entomologist yet, but according to my calculations, the wasp larvae cloak the parasiticized caterpillar in a silk covering which hatched this morning. You see all these baby wasps flying around Pipe Cleaner? To my understanding, these wasps developed inside or on this caterpillar's body. Pipe cleaner was food for the wasp for their growth. These wasps just hatched and threw pipe cleaner away like yesterday's trash. And this is what the the tolerant intestinal caterpillar would have turned into if it wasn't used up as a host. Now the moment that you've all been waiting for, in the corner here, we have the most fuzzy wuzzy cutie wooty, but don't mess with him, because he's the most venomous caterpillar in the United States. I'm not the guy to like dangerous things, but if fuzzy is a friend of nature, he's a friend of mine. 
Fuzzy is a puss moth caterpillar. Even though he looks like a fluffy, cuddly cutie, oh no, he's dangerous, dangerous to touch. Because under those brown flowing locks, which are super irritating, by the way, are rows of venomous spines. Talk about a wolf's and sheep's clothing, am I right? The stinging hairs aren't there to keep us humans away from hurting, keeping them as pets. They're actually there for a defense mechanism for keeping predators away. His little hands look like glue gripper gloves. Watching him walk around is mesmerizing, isn't it? If you look closely, you can see that Fuzzy's starting to build the cocoon. First, an outer layer of silk is laid down. Then, it rips off his soft hairs and puts them at the top of his cocoon. It's going to turn into a southern flannel moth. I'm so excited because the adults are just as fuzzy and don't longer have the venomous hairs. Yay! <sighs> Why does this keep happening to all my friends? It's like every single caterpillar I catch is having a parasite for loser. Not a party I want to go to. No way, no how. So Fuzzy, the Puss Moth Caterpillar, built his cocoon in this magnifying case. You'd think that is all nice and safe, right? Wrong. You see all these flies? The kind of flies? They ate Fuzzy from the inside of his cocoon out. You see this one coming out of Fuzzy's cocoon? Yeah, little fly guy, I caught you red-handed. Red-handed, eating Fuzzy alive. Sometimes in the windshield, sometimes in the bug. I just, I guess that's just how nature is. But man, I was so excited to see it turn into this. How cool would that have been? And the best part is that adult moths don't have the dangerous bites, so I could have held it. So let's get to the bottom of this. I did what any curious entomologist would have done. A little dissecting discovery in the name of science. The cocoon was built tough, so predators from the outside couldn't get in. The cocoon is useless when you already have flies in you. Phew, hard work. It's time to get the adults to help with the knife. Gentle, gentle. Ooh, the back door popped open. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Oh, there's the half of that fly's body. Oh, it's full of fly eggs. When I dumped out the cocoon, all these larva shells came out. The flies ate Fuzzy from the inside out, and here's all that's left of him. They sucked out all his guts. So guys, the good news is that my neighbors have a Venus flytrap. You better believe I'm going to feed all these flies to it for eating the, all my friends. If you find a bug, remember to do research because they might be poisonous. So, like we learned today, don't touch your critter unless you do your research. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching Big Bug Show. Bye. That's a really good Ha, 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 ha.